Hello everyone and welcome to Attorney Reacts, where all your favorite attorneys react to so many people being so very, very stupid. How hard is it to not be stupid is a constant question these videos reveal. Today's stupid comes in the form of a video entitled 19 year old drunk driver tries to impress girlfriend gets OWI operating under the influence. Let's learn more. On March the 7th, 2021, a scared passenger in a vehicle used his cell phone to call 911 around 3 a.m. to report the 19-year-old driver, Cody Peters, of reckless driving. <laughs> okay, all right, things are off to a great start here. We got an eyewitness, all right, good. The passenger told police Peters had been drinking and that she tried to convince him to stop driving. She says Peters barely acknowledged her and only said, I got this, babe. Wow, I got you, babe. In the spring, I got you to wear my ring. Maybe less with I got you, babe, in the context of drunk driving. <laughs> okay, let's listen to more. All right. Are you the caller? Uh, no, she is. I was just... Okay. That is one heck of a serious accident. Oh, Lord. Yeah, someone did something. Uh, there's definitely prima facie evidence that someone has potentially violated the motor vehicle law in some way. That's a pretty serious accident. Yeah, further investigation seems warranted. Why don't you sit back here, okay? Yeah. You were driving? No, I was not driving. Okay. He's still. I've been, you need to take him. He's, well, is there still someone in here? It's my boyfriend, you okay. need to take him now. Guys, why don't you wait on the sidewalk? No, okay? I'm not leaving him. You no, no, need, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help him out. Peters was traveling 100 miles an hour when he passed a squad car that pulled over a vehicle in a separate traffic stop. Oh, Lord, things are not going well for Peters over here. Had a rough morning. Girlfriend's not having any of it, throwing Peters right under the bus. At this point, I'm not sure anything she could do would help. And I'm not sure that's going to really help either. So at this point, I'm not sure it matters much. I was just talking to him. Okay. I'm on with three right now. I'll advise if I can see any, any injuries. Two people are. Peters' vehicle continued at a high rate of speed for four more blocks before it crashed, rolled over, and landed upright at a dead end. I think the police might have reasonably articulable suspicion. Might be a little bit of reasonably articulable suspicion. Maybe we should investigate further. I'm not, I'm not leaving him. Cody. Just, really drunk. Okay. Cody. Cody. <laughs> Cody. <laughs> What's up? We're out with uh, oh, all three here. Everyone says they're fine. Got a DUI last Cody. June, uh, July. Uh, okay. uh oh. Now, girlfriend over here has just told police he got a DUI last June, last July. Uh oh. I mean, the police were going to find out eventually, but now they know. So now they know they're dealing with a repeat offender. Uh oh. Can I, can no. all three Stop. Man, why don't you wait over by the oh, sidewalk? I'm not leaving him. Yeah. I'm good not? with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cody. Take her back. Okay. Just, just here, lean back here, bud. Lean back here. Okay. A lot of went on. A lot went on here. Okay. We just got. I got to make the main concern right now is your health. Yeah. Obviously, there was there's a big crash. Yeah. So. Hey. Can I just can I just see? Make sure you don't have any. Can I see your hands? Okay. Dude, listen. Okay. I'm Looks good. like you got just a little little cut right there. That's, I woke up this morning and my brother, okay, I'm not gonna lie to you right now. This is, okay. Uh -huh. okay. My brother, my brother streamed on Twitch. Okay. Oh, oh. a fellow streamer. A poor brother of a fellow streamer. Well, at least his brother will have something to talk about on his exciting Twitch stream. He wanted, me to, he wanted me to play with him this morning, so I got at him with this morning. That's why that's bleeding. Okay. The other part of it. They can cancel right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's talking and walking fine. Yeah. Good in the officers, making sure that we do a basic wellness check first. Good call. Checking him, no obvious bruises, no obvious things. He does seem coherent, no obvious injuries. For a guy who just rolled over in a car, seems to be doing pretty well. So, you know, okay, we can definitely continue this further. But good in the officer doing the initial check to make sure this guy isn't, you know, obviously bleeding profusely. Whatever you're gonna charge. So Cody, me, just, just pull it what's your last name? Is, is this your car? Yeah. Okay. Just pull it out. Just pull it out. Uh-huh. Pull it out, he says, like he's gonna get a ticket. I, I'm thinking that this might involve more than a ticket. Just guessing. Police say Peter's vehicle went directly over the dead end and came to a stop near the intersection. 
The vehicle struck a large landscaping boulder and dislodged it 150 feet from its original location. Yeah, that looks like we might have come in contact with a boulder. I think the police's hypothesis of what happened looks pretty likely. Yeah, I'm going to grab your full information. Let's go walk on the sidewalk here, okay? Yeah, get him out of traffic. That's a good idea. Yo, if, if I get a serious mm -hmm. question, yeah. can I ask it to you real quick? Yeah, what's up, man? Why is there six cars here? Well, because six there, cars. Because this was a serious crash. Really? Yeah. You think it's yeah, a, that's pretty serious. A serious crash that, was, that takes six cars? At three in the morning, you know, the police may not have necessarily a lot else to do. So, yeah, uh, six cop cars responding to this doesn't seem completely implausible. Also, of course, the police don't necessarily know what they're coming into, right, at three o'clock in the morning or any other time of day for that matter. So, you know, you never know what the person's going to do. They're high or drunk or whatever. They might be violent. They might have a weapon. They might have whatever. So, the police, since they have the availability to respond with sick cars, why not? You know, so yeah, that seems seems like a reasonable reaction. Hey, I'm, I, hey, I'm, I'm you, not, I'm not talking. Person? I'm not talking to anybody else. I'm just talking to you. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. What's so, uh? How do you spell it? Is it C O D Y? Yeah. C. You got that? C O D Y. Yeah. And then how do you spell it? Really young. My bad. <laughs> It's not important right now. It is important. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter to the situation that we're okay. talking about. I know. I love you, dude. But hey, just, <laughs> yeah, just hey, dude. Yeah, I don't. I don't have to give that to you. Okay. Um, Cody, how much are the drinks tonight? Um, honestly, not enough to for you to pull me over. Okay. Well, that's I th I'm thinking he might have had enough to be pulled over. Also, strictly speaking. The officer didn't pull him over. He was already pulled over uh, by his own volition. So that's not an answer. How much did you drink tonight? Um, to be honest, about it. two out of ten. Two out, two out of ten. Two out of ten. Two out of ten. Yep. Two out of ten. What? Two out of ten alcoholic drinks. Sure. And what were you drinking? Um, whatever will make your notes better. That. Yes. <laughs> I'm just trying to. I'm not trying hey, to put words into your mouth. I know. I know you're good, but what? Uh, what will ever get an arrest in your mouth, buddy? Just give it to me. All right. Yeah. How fast were you going? I don't remember, man. Just whatever you have going into your notes. Go ahead. I appreciate his attempts to remain silent here. I don't know what two out of 10 means, but it's not going to help him very much, of course. I mean, confessions are always nice, but at this point, they're going to do a breathalyzer. If you refuse, they're going to get a warrant for your blood draw. They're absolutely going to do that. They're going to figure out how much you're drinking. And also the girlfriend knows. And also it's readily obvious that you weren't in control of your car and are obviously guilty of reckless driving for some reason. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate his attempt to remain silent. You should always invoke your rights to remain silent, but eh, it's not gonna help very much in this occasion. Hey, can I go say bye to my girlfriend real quick? <laughs> I'm talking to you. I know you okay. are. The passenger struck her head on the door during the crash and suffering a headache. I bet she does. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that she's a little rattled from it. She seems relatively fine, but you know, the car rolled over. She might've banged her head a little bit, yeah. As long as you hit this rock here. Okay. Do you, do you think it was okay to be driving this quick? I was driving then. And yeah, I mean, do you hey. think this was smart? Do I think I made a mistake? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay. You can mark that down there. You know, I made a mistake. I know I did. I think that's readily obvious. Was no. there some type of like alt like altercation between you and your girl? Girl? No. Is that your girlfriend? That, that, that is, babe. I don't, I don't want anything. No. And just Cody, just keep your hands out of your pockets, man. Sorry. Is, Sorry. is that your girlfriend? Yeah. It, was there an argument between you guys? What, I mean, what? We told you you're driving fast. We don't have any. We don't have any. Just sit okay. still, right. Cody. We don't have I'm any just, altercations against us. Okay. Yeah. Is there a tow truck company you want? Sure. That's totally okay. W which company? Honestly, man, it's okay. As long as my car gets home safely, thank you. Your car is not going home. 
Your car is going to the impound. The contact number for you. I don't have to support that with you guys. Okay. I low key, honestly, hey, low key, I respect you guys. No, I do, I, I do, mean, I do. Okay. We don't, yeah. we don't do handshakes okay, with cool. COVID. Cool. So. Thanks, man. Just, just. The only thing he really has to do is give his name, date of birth, identification. If the police ask for his license, obviously he, they have to give that. Surprised they haven't asked for it at this point, but I guess they'll need it because he gave it. But yeah, you have to identify yourself. Name, date of birth, that kind of stuff. But yeah, I mean, you don't have to answer any other questions. He's trying to stand on his rights. He's not doing a half bad job for a person who obviously was drunk out of his mind and you know hit a boulder and did a flip in his car and bashed his car into all hell so for a guy who's this intoxicated he's actually not doing too bad standing on his rights i mean the level of incrimination is pretty low again not that it really matters very much because we'll get all the evidence we need not that we don't already have it incidentally but words from your own mouth are always a plus but yeah at this point who cares <laughs> back in it i haven't proved any drug anything. use tonight, Cody? No. Any prescription medications that you're prescribed that you've taken no, the last 24 no, hours? No, I can give you guys. Okay. So drinking? Yeah, I was just drinking. Okay. Do you feel impaired right now? No. You don't feel impaired? Okay. No. I'm sorry, dude. I'm freezing. It's cold out here, dude. I'm sorry, dude. Don't use that against me. Please. Uh-huh. Me shaking out here. No, I don't think the shaking is going to be the principal thing that's going to be used against you. Don't even. What kind of cops? <laughs> I know what kind of cops all you guys are, so don't even. Peters was uncooperative when being questioned by the police while well, he's invoking his rights, uh, mostly. Okay. Peters refused a preliminary breath test and field sobriety test. Yeah, okay. He, he wants to refuse the breath test, which probably automatically revokes his license. It does in most states when you refuse the breath test, maybe that he has to formally refuse at the police station before it will be revoking his rights. So it depends on the state. Incidentally, exactly when that point comes. So some states, if you refuse on the side of the road, some states it's when you refuse at the cops, at the station, but he's refusing his initial test. So fine. But once again, we're going to get the warrant. We'll get a blood draw. So Cody, we're just gonna run some information. And then at that point after that, would you be willing to do the St. Heights Field Sobriety Test? I'm not going to do any kind of sobriety test you two have for me. Okay. So, you know, based off of my observations, the vehicle crash tonight, I do want to do the St. Heights Field Sobriety Test. I can't force you to okay. do them, but it's your opportunity to show me that you're not impaired. Right? Would, I, would you, be I willing? you really shouldn't do field sobriety tests because they're kind of garbage, to be honest. If refusing the breathalyzer is a whole nother set of stories, but roadside sobriety tests, I mean, they're pretty difficult to pass if you're cold stober, to be honest. You know, the slightest thing can be a sign. So, and they're they're open to a lot of subjective interpretation. So refusing the field sobriety test, yeah, but refusing the breathalyzer might expose you to legal risk. Just keep your hands out of your pocket. Go pay them down, okay? Yeah, standard frisk, no problem. Right. So, would you be willing to do the field test? I'm not gonna lie to you, no. Okay. I don't. I don't want. You grab my PBT out of 24. Dear, Have you ever done one of these before, Cody? Yeah, been there a couple times. So, just search. All you gotta Great. do is take a deep breath. Just and, search, dude. Well, don't even. This is just, a PBT. I know. Do we want to just blow, blow through the tube here? No. See where we're at? No, no. Mark, we're good. All right, place your hands on your back. Right. Your hands on Fair enough. Nice Garfield jacket, by the way. <laughs> Garfield's having a better time than you. <laughs> I'm going to search your pockets, right? Yeah, that car's had better days, man. Is he, what's his deal? Is he not just repeating everything? He repeats everything, everything uh, um, Really didn't give me much information. She said that they were drinking um, at the bowling alley, and then they went to a friend's house and hung out there. He took the keys. Mm -hmm. He tried to tell her. Yeah. She tried to tell him not to drive, but yeah. they both got in the car. He said she did. She said he did not say anything to him as they're driving. They just started driving all over town, and she repeatedly was like, huh. "You need to stop. You need to stop." And then he just. Started driving Mach 9. So you saw on Campbell going like 100? I just got out to get to that noise complaint, yeah. and then I see this car and I can hear the motor, and I bet you it's at least 100, yeah. if not faster. Campbell and what? Uh, I parked at 2000 Campbell Road, so I saw them turn off of State 
because when the call came out, going I eastbound, checked, yeah. Okay. I checked my uh, MBT because you know how people always get their directions yeah. and that stuff. So I got out. Whoa. So she said that he didn't know that the road turned, so they went straight over. She says they rolled. They did something because the back end was just as messed up yeah. as the front end. So she Jeez. says they rolled and landed. Tea kettle or what? Landed how they are here. Um, so, my understanding there there was three people in the car. Is that correct? No, just two. So, there was a third person here when I initially got here. Yeah, and then he was, was that guy. I talked to him. Yeah. Okay, he so stopped. That's, yeah, he's not involved. I, he just saw what happened, so he stopped on so, the other yeah, side of the road. And I don't know how credible his info was. He's, he said there was his girlfriend and possibly another girl in the car. I don't know if, she never mentioned anyone else that it was just those two. 10 4. I'll double okay. check. She's been drinking too. She's cooperative, yeah. but she really wants to say goodbye to him. She's pissed. She wants to, they live together. She wants the key. They didn't have an argument though. That's the thing. She's like, okay. we didn't get the mm -hmm. fight. There's no threats, no nothing. He okay. just took the keys because he drives when he's drunk. It's like he wouldn't say anything. She's like, she said, you need to slow down. All, the right. only thing he said once was, don't worry, babe, I got this. Okay. Don't think you got it. Okay. Oh. Peters faces felony charge of first degree reckless endangering safety. Yeah, I think reckless endangerment of safety looks pretty good. Misdemeanor charge of second offense drunk driving. Yeah, second offense operating with prohibited blood alcohol content and operating after revocation because unsurprisingly, his driver's license was revoked after the first DUI. That all looks pretty promising. The police seem to have all that in spades. So I'm gonna explain the charges, okay? You'll be under arrest, you're under arrest today for operating a motor vehicle while under the influence, second right. offense. Yeah. ODBI causing no. injury. No, no. OAR means operating after revocation due to alcohol related offense. Also some, also citations for reckless driving and unreasonable improvement speed. Well, my friends, that brings us to the end of this exciting video. So this guy decided that, you know, he wanted to drive, even though his girlfriend apparently, according to them both, incidentally, tried repeatedly to discourage him from driving. But he's like, babe, I've got this. And not so much because he apparently was driving all over town at very high speeds, which inherently is reckless. And then, of course, ran into a boulder, causing his car to apparently turn over and get totally destroyed. The He refused all the field sobriety tests, but the police, unsurprisingly, Surprisingly got a warrant and which revealed a better than 0.2 blood alcohol content. So the police have more than enough evidence for all these things. The lessons here, of course, don't drive drunk when your better half tells you maybe you're too drunk to drive. Maybe you should listen to them. Get an Uber next time. It'll be a lot cheaper. I've been on civil law for attorney reacts. Until later, my friends, I hope all is well. Cheers, my friends, and goodbye. Big verdict.